हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम राजीव सर आई विल बी टीचिंग यू फिजिक्स इन स्टैंडर्ड सेवन ए एंड बी स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर वन मेजरमेंट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेवन ए एंड बी फॉर द सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स इन दिस चैप्टर यू लर्न अबाउट नंबर वन मेजरमेंट of area of irregular surface number 2 concept of volume and its units number 3 concept of density and relative density number 4 floating and sinking and number 5 speed so in measurement in daily life we come across measurement of many quantities such as length area volume speed velocity density etc you have studied earlier that measurement is necessary for uniformity in our daily life now i am taking some example suppose for finding the area of irregular surface now taking an example suppose this is in the form of a square and this in the form of semi circle now if it is 6 cm in length then it is also in 6 6 cm 6 cm and for calculating call calculating the area of irregular surface uh we must divide into diff two different shapes one in a square form another is semi circle form suppose so area of a square is equal to side into side so one side is 6 cm other side is also 6 cm because all sides are equal in length therefore multiplying these two 36 cm square and area of semi circle is equal to 1 by 2 pi r square therefore 1 by 2 into pi. the value of pi is 22 by 7 and r r is equal to 3 cm because 6 cm the diameter and radius is just half of diameter so it is a 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 cm so r is 3 3 square 11 into 9 divided by 7 99 by 7 is equal to 14.14 cm square so therefore total area of this uh surface total area of the surface is equal to 36 cm square plus 14.14 14 
14 centimeter square is equal to fifty point one four centimeter square. Now students already you know that the definition of volume, the space which an object occupies is known as the volume of that object. And the SI unit of volume is equal to cubic meter that means meter cube. Now uh, measurement of volume of regular solid suppose we take an example of a uh, cube or cuboid suppose this is cuboid So to find the volume of cuboid is equal to L into B into H, L B H, length, breadth and volume. Similarly, the volume of cube is equal to L into L into L that means side cube that is L cube you know that the figure of the cube so you find the volume by this way now Take an example for a numerical based on this. Uh, suppose the question is the length, breadth, and width of a rectangular box are 24 centimeter 20 centimeter and 4 centimeter respectively find the volume of the box find the volume of the box. How can you solve? It's very easy to solve. Student, you know, here is given length L is equal to 24 centimeter, breadth is equal to 20 centimeter, and height is equal to 4 centimeter. Therefore, volume of the box is equal to L into B into H 24 the value of L is 24 is given the value of width in B is given 20 and the value of H is 4 multiply we will get uh, 24 into 80 1920 centimeter cube. Now, density. The density of a substance. is its mass per unit of volume 
therefore you can write density is equal to mass by volume that is uh, d is equal to m by v and its si unit is kilogram per cubic meter now taking an example a numerical is question taking the density of copper as 9 gram per cubic centimeter then find the number 1 mass of 5 cm cube and volume of 63 g copper already here here is given density d is equal to 9 g per cubic centimeter volume as given 5 cm cube so m is equal to you have to find m therefore m is equal to v into d because density is equal to mass by volume therefore mass is equal to v into d and put the value v is 5 and d is 9 so m is equal to 95 or 45 g this is a number a and number b volume of 63 g copper therefore v is equal to m by d so mass is given 63 and density is given 9 9 7 63 Seven centimeter cube. Now, relative density. The relative density or specific. gravity of a substance is defined as the ratio of the density of a substance to the density of water at 4 degrees celsius therefore relative density r d relative density is equal to density of substance by density of water at 4 degrees celsius its unit unit si unit 
it has no unit no unit because the relative density is a ratio of two densities it does not have any unit so unit of relative density has no unit now floating and sinking floating and sinking an object sinks in a liquid of less density than its own otherwise it floats partly or wholly submerged uh, already you know that for example an iron nail sinks in water but an iron ship floats because its average density is less than that of water law of flotation it states that <clears throat> if the density of an object is less than that of the fluid the object floats in it if the density of the object is more than that of the fluid the object sinks now speed the body which covers a distance in unit time is known as the speed therefore speed is equal to distance covered by time taken therefore v is equal to s by t si unit of the speed is meter per second the speed is of two type number 1 uniform speed number 2 variable speed uniform speed when a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time it is said to be moving with a uniform or constant speed suppose taking an example a body is at a covers 10 meter towards b in 1 second then after it covers from b to c again 10 meter in 1 second from c to d again cover 10 meter in 1 second then object moving with uniform speed because 
time interval same and distance travel is also same so it is said to be uniform speed now variable speed when a body covers unequal distance in equal interval of time or equal distances in unequal interval of time then speed is said to be variable suppose an example is for the body is at a it goes from a to b that means it cover in our 10 meter in one second again from b to c cover 4 meter in one second from c to d 12 meter in one second from d to e 6 meter in one second and body object moving with variable speed now taking an example a numerical question the speed of a car is 60 meter per second calculate the distance covered by the car in 30 seconds. Here is a uh, distance. We have to find the distance. Uh, the speed of a car is 60 meter per second. That means V is 60 meter. Per second time is 30 seconds we have to find the distance covered therefore s s is equal to what we know that the formula s is equal to v into t distance is equal to speed into time it is given 60 into 30 that means 63 is 80 hundred meter answer now refer to the question which is given on the Teno app as a homework thank you